Hey, welcome back. <laughs> it's your mindfulness mentor, Sheryl Alicia, and I'm back with another video on the value of our collective spaces. This video is simply a journaling exercise about success. Now, we all know your net worth is your net worth, right? We are only as great as what we talked about in our previous videos, the people, the places and spaces we choose to surround ourselves with, that we choose to place ourselves in, those things that support us and are in alignment with us becoming our best, truest, highest, most successful versions of ourselves. So, in this video, I'm just going to ask you a series of questions. The first question is, what is success? Now, I would typically use Webster as a reference, but this video is going to be a little different. I would like to know what that word means to you. That word success, that word wealth, um, abundant living, and living a particular lifestyle, the definition of those things will vary. What's most important is that you know what they mean to you so that you can do what's necessary to be sure to live a very fulfilling life. First, let's do a little memory jog. <laughs> I'm going to just simply lay out some things that you know it takes to be successful based on all the work that we've done this year. We know everything starts in gratitude, right? Money, success, abundance, all these things, great relationships. They're all about what we believe in ourselves. If we have the confidence to ask for the things that we like and, if, and we desire. And if we have the patience and the belief to know no matter what, we deserve these things and they are going to manifest. So in order for you to reach your level of success, you have to first know what you want specifically, right? So we're going to say, what is success and what does that mean to me? Once you have defined those things, you know step one is to ask. This is where we set our intentions. If you've done any other workshops with me, you know I use the word intention a little more than I say, ask for what you want. <laughs> in the spiritual realm, we sell, set our intentions. and in relationships, we do too. But when it comes to day-to-day -day, um, connections or, you know, even in entrepreneurship, if you are an entrepreneur, asking for the cost or the or the price that you know that you deserve. Asking your supervisor if you work a nine to five for a raise because you know you deserve it. Like going out and knowing this is what I need to feel fulfilled. This is what I need to be successful. This is my idea of abundant living. And we ask specifically for what we want. We have those intentions, right? The second thing that's required in order for you to have the success that you desire, the wealth, the abundant lifestyle, is that you believe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to first believe that you deserve it. Believe that it's yours. Believe, 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 believe. You have to believe, right? Because we know... One of my favorite affirmations, what I am seeking is also seeking me. I got to know that it is waking up every single day looking for me. <laughs> you have to feel that same way. You have to believe, right? When you believe and you're doing things with intention and you're asking for, for what you want, you develop a different level of confidence, right? With that level of belief, with that confidence, with asking for what you want and setting those intentions, you'll begin to put forth some action. And we all know what happens when we put forth that action. We manifest the things that we say we want. <laughs> so success. Once we've done all these things, once we've asked for what we want, once we've been intentional with our time and our efforts, once we believe we deserve it, once we go out and we put forth that action, and we have that confidence, 
we begin to manifest the successful life that we want, the abundant lifestyle that we desire. So my question to you is, what will you do when it's yours? When you reach that level of success that you said you wanted, you defined it, <laughs> you were very specific. When you get there, what will you do? What does it feel like? Who do you hang with? What do you eat? <laughs> These are all very important questions for you to know. Success. What does success look like? As for me, I'd say, what does a successful Sherelle look like? She is well groomed. Okay. She is, honey, she is well groomed. She dresses very well. She goes to specific places. She eats a particular way. She wakes up every day in the morning, not mourning the day. <laughs> she wakes up happy, happy that she has the opportunity to give back, happy that she has the opportunity to serve, happy that she gets to share another day walking this beautiful earth with her children, with her family, with her friends. And when she wants to, she gets to travel also. That's my idea of success right? But we grow as we go. So it's important that you continue to ask yourself those very important questions so that you may continue on your road and your journey to become your best, truest, highest self. And what success looks like for each and every version of yourself could look different. So be sure to check in to make sure that you're living the abundant life that you desire. I pray that this video has been impactful. May you be well. May you be happy. Until next time, I love you.